Vol. And once it was for a, a gig at the courts, it was a big gig. And I was like, to be honest, he's a knob. Mm. He's a knob. And she was like, okay. And then they went with someone else. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, I can't be recommending people because I, own, I don't no. own people's shit. No. And he was, he was a knob. And, he never, and then it, the play was massive as well. Transferred and all this stuff. And it's like, wow. he could have been on that. But I think, well, then don't be a... Don't, don't be a dick. Yeah. 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 And word travels and your name on yeah. CVs is a big thing. It's yeah. like, just don't, just yeah, show up, be the nicest person. When you said yeah. that, you went to a few things, but you fucked it up. What, what happens? What's the story? Oh, just, it could be hours for this. Yeah. I, just, I, I, used to, I used to go to auditions and do everything apart from the prep because I was so scared of failure. So I thought if I don't work really hard and I fail, it's because of whatever reason. I auditioned for the lead in a, in, a, in a play at the National, and it was Marianne Elliott, who I think is the best director, and I think it was Tom Morris, two massive directors, and Alistair Kumar, who's the head of casting at the National now. And I was so nervous, my mum, well done mum, went, why don't you just have a few whiskeys before you go in? <laughs> so I had three whiskeys and turned up pissed. But I thought, because the show was ginormous, I'll be in a massive auditorium, so I won't smell it. And I got in, <laughs> they were like, it's the NT studio, and the room was like half the size of this. And they were there. And I went high and I thought, they oh. can smell my fucking breath. And I stunk of like hard whiskey. And the worst thing was, the play had been published. So I took in the play and I knew what scene they were going to do, which is the main scene. And then Tom Morris went, oh, because I got the play. He said, oh, we won't do it from that. And I went, no, 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 it's fine. And he was like, okay. As in like, we've edited the play since it's gone live. So what you're going to read now is the old version. So you've got two pages in and obviously it wasn't matching up what they had and what I had. And I was like, yeah, can I have the, the actual script? It's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> you think of that job either, which is no surprise. Don't learn, but I think that's Don't, that's don't, don't have three like, whiskeys yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, all them stories are just dreadful. I can't even, a lot of them are just revolting. But they make me, I think now, a better coach or a better person. I work a lot of grads and I say to a lot of them, like, here's just some tips. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Like time, like I used to go to auditions late. Remember Nick Heitner, I met Nick Heitner at the National. Yeah. And he went to me, it was for, oh, it was for, I think it was for Oedipus with Ray Fiennes. And I was about a minute late and I turned up and I wasn't even running. I just walked up towards the door and it went, hey, Niall. And I was like, yeah, you went, cool. Uh, you Bob, whatever, let's go. And I was like, no, 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 I'm here for the thing. He said, yeah. He said, you're, you're like, I'm not going to wait for you. I run the National Theatre. Cheers, Bob, let's go. And then Bob went in and I just stood there. And that's when my agent was, was, now is one of the biggest agents in fucking... And I was like, uh, I don't think Nick's going to see me. And he was like, are you late? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you're mad. So all them things happen. But again, it goes back to that thing we spoke before. And like how I, I think what makes me understand this monster industry is that you have a, you have, you have a, a, a job to do. This is work. Mm -hmm. And I think I never saw it as that. I just sort of get the piss about. Mm -hmm. speaking, I just used to like ring and call. I remember I rang, I used to ring the National like every Friday afternoon. I'm like, any jobs? And they'd be like, oh, what was her name now? Juliet Horsley, who's like massive now. Oh, yeah. Went to meet Niall. M making ugly, horrible choices that I made in like my 20s and my 30s to a certain degree are all now making me like a better teacher or a better practitioner now. Mm. I think, oh, well, that hasn't worked. Mm. So, okay, well, that opportunity's there. So let's go and grab that. So I think it depends. If you're a positive person, I think you can make your own... It's also the people that way. you keep around you, isn't it? Definitely. If you're, sur if you're surrounded by like... Negative, negative Nellies, and they're like, oh, "Don't do that, don't do that." And you're like, mm. "Oh yeah, you're right." It's like when, I, when we set up Lonesome, I remember saying to my mum about him. She said, "I don't know why we're still talking about it. This is boring it, me. Yeah. Yeah. Just like yeah, you've got pals that run companies that do websites that do videography. You know, a million actors. Yeah. Like she snapped. She's like, "Why are we still discussing this? Can Stop we just procrastinating. Yeah, go, let's, go, let's have some tea because you've said it before, and now you're you're you're, you're boring me." <laughs> It's so, uh, yeah. to, to procrastinate in this mm, industry safe, because yeah. of the fear of failure, mm. I think. And it's, but I think you're right. I think having those people around you, it's having the people around you that are like, because I think, I mean, I don't know about you guys, like as an actor or in this industry in general, because it's a lot about me, mm. um, you know, there's a lot of self doubt that happens in this mm. industry. That and, and equally on the opposite end, having too much of an ego and kind of finding that happy medium between the two. But I think procrastinating is a, is a huge part of that because it's almost like you're almost like, if, if I keep putting this off and I don't actually put all my energy into mm. it, if I fail, I can say, well, it's because, you know, I didn't put all my energy yeah, exactly. into it, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Um, so easy. But you, you have to have people around you that say, just 
fucking do it. Just do yeah. it. At the same time, you've got to take it seriously. You know, yeah, you've, got, you've got to put in the work.